so I guess we're back on YouTube now. <laughs> Now, I feel like I've made this we're back on YouTube video like a hundred times. I have like maybe like 20 different videos never posted, but you know what? We're posting this one. No editing. It's straight up from the heart. It's 2024. I'm going to be the best content creator that I want to be because to be honest, when this whole thing started in 2020, the COVID years, like I just kind of blew up on TikTok by accident and it's still kind of weird to wrap my head around, but I want to be way better at this and I want to like fully jump into it because I don't feel like I've fully given myself into it because of life and things that have been going on. So what this video is going to be is just going to be me giving you a rundown of where I've been what has happened leading up to this point, my feelings on it, as well as like where we're going to take not only this channel, but like, you know, TikTok and the podcast and everything in the future. So as far as this channel goes, though, what you're going to be seeing more on this channel is movie reviews and not just recent releases, right? I feel like what made me blow up on TikTok as much as I did is because I was talking about all movies, not just recent things, all movies. And so I just want to like give you guys films that like I just kind of like rewatched or movies that I genuinely love from my childhood, movies that, you know, that I haven't seen before, you know what I'm saying, that came out, but like for one reason or another, I was never able to get to it. So I just want to kind of give you my perspective on all different types of movies. And I think that will lead to kind of like videos that will come every day, because as long as I am not watching like the new stuff, then like you'll get a video during the week for other movies. So this could be a video every day. I don't know. Uh, definitely need to get an editor because like these could be either like premium, highly edited type stuff. But I feel like a lot of you guys just like it when I just kind of talk straight to you at the camera right here. But yeah, so I want to do like more movie reviews. Uh, also, I want to take like suggestions from you if you have movies that you want me to watch or movies that like I've more than likely seen, but you haven't gotten my opinion on. Definitely want to give that to you guys because, you know, being, being your movie guy, I want to give you my thoughts on those movies. So that's just kind of like my thoughts on it. Movie reviews are going to be probably the mainstay of this channel, the thing that kind of like keeps the channel going. So, you know, like, subscribe, comment, whatever the cliche YouTuber thing is to do. I guess I am the cliche YouTuber guy, so we're just going to roll with that. Uh, also, what I want to do more is like vlogging. Now, I'm, I'm terrible at vlogging. Like, I always get in these like different places and I always have to be reminded to record things. I'm the guy who whips out his phone. I dropped my phone. Real time, everybody. <laughs> um, I'm always the guy who whips out his phone when other people start whipping out their phones because I don't know. I just feel something weird about trying to capture every moment. But that being said, I have been to a lot of interesting places, right? And I want you guys to see those interesting places. I know a lot of you guys be in my comment section saying how proud you are of how far I've come. And, you know, I think it's like really cool that I get to go to all these places despite like growing up in Compton and not dreaming of ever being like overseas and going to Italy and going to France and going to Australia. Like I've been so much in the past year and like I feel like it's just only going to ramp up from here that I want to show you guys what I'm doing as well as like show you guys like red carpets that I go to and vlogging those and giving you full videos of like what it's like to be there. So I want to do more like not everyday life stuff because, you know, I like to keep my private life private. But, you know, just when I kind of go out and I go to these events and just kind of like show you guys what happened. And I think you guys will really like that. Uh, let me know if you will really like that in the comments down below. But yeah, vlogging will be another part of this channel. Like, I don't know how often it will be. I will make an active effort to try and like, you know, vlog and like record these instances of where I'm at, you know, my interactions with people, uh, things like that as well. Uh, another thing that I want to do is I want to do some more collaborations. I don't know why. I guess like me being a movie person, like it's hard. Growing up on the TikTok, growing up on TikTok, like I'm not Gen Z, but being on TikTok, like you see a lot of your favorite creators kind of interact with each other. But a lot of times they're like cosplayers or dancers or singers or whatever. Whereas like me being a pseudo not really movie critic and movie commentator like you know obviously you could talk to other people about movies but i always get weird when it comes to collaborations because i don't want it to come off as like hokey or anything like that so i just uh not in a way almost avoided it without even knowing it but now i kind of want to like pick other people's brains on movies and discuss movies with other people and doing it on camera and doing it in ways that are interesting that really have never been done before i have this really cool idea for a YouTube series that like I'm really working on right now. So hopefully guys, you would really like that. I feel like it could be a really big thing, but more collaborations is something that I'm definitely looking forward to. And that could come in the way of, you know, bringing somebody on to discuss a movie or, you know, again, podcasting things or even 
just going out into the world and like picking people's brains, strangers or friends' brains about movies and things of that sort. I think that's really cool. And movies are what bring us together. Mm -hmm. So that's just kind of like my thought on that. Collaborations is like really big on my mind this year. And then also, now, I think I think a certain subsect of my subscribers would like this a lot. But I really want to do this because I have a lot of people that I follow when it comes to this arena. One Piece. I want to talk more about One Piece because when the strike happened, the actors and writers strike, uh, we were asked not to make like movie content, which in my opinion is still kind of weird that they didn't allow people on TikTok or content creators to do it, but people on YouTube was doing it all day. Maybe I should have been doing it on YouTube. Who knows? But when that strike happened, you know, I couldn't talk about film the way I wanted to, especially like the newer releases and things like that. So I kind of fell onto One Piece, which my favorite thing on the planet. It's always been one of my favorite things on the planet, if not my favorite thing on the planet. And so I made a bunch of content on that because I watch it, I consume it. I'm constantly like looking for like new information on One Piece. And like, so I have a lot of knowledge in my own right when it comes to that. So, you know, I kind of want to do more One Piece content that are more just about, you know, chapter breakdowns of what's the latest chapter, what's happening in that, what are my theories on it, discussions, uh, the anime, uh, one of my favorite episodes, uh, especially when the live action comes back. I want to do episode by episode breakdowns, uh, character breaks down. I like, I did ever got a chance to really dive dive into my thoughts on that live action series. And so I really want to like really go into like the One Piece content. And again, like I know a lot of you guys may not watch One Piece. I know a lot of you guys may not engage with that content. That is 100% fine. Please engage with the other movie reviews and movie centric things. Uh, and then if there's a One Piece overlap when it comes to movies, maybe that's when you could jump in. But there's a huge section of my fan base that have said that they've gotten into One Piece because I talked about it. And I kind of want to like spread the love of that. You know, I kind of want to like really get into that. So, you know, One Piece is one of my favorite things of all time. I want to share it with you guys. If you don't want any part of that, that's fine. It's okay. Uh, also, uh, another thing I want to do is podcast content. So I am doing a new podcast. Geeks of the Week is no more. Megan has her own podcast called Broad Perspect The Broad Perspective. Make sure you guys check that out on all platforms. It's amazing. She's amazing. I think she has four episodes out right now, and they're all fantastic. So follow Jay Stoops, Megan, the broad perspective, it's awesome. But uh, since she wanted to focus more on uh, women in film type things, then, uh, you know, we had that discussion and now we decided that because of a bunch of other circumstances, which I'll get into on the podcast episode, so make sure you guys check that out, then we we decided to part ways on that and then I'm creating my own podcast called Get Wrecked, not spelled with a W or a K. Uh, that's not the whole title, just wanted you to see it because I don't have an editor and there's no graphic on it or anything like that. So yeah, so I'm going to be doing my own podcast. We're going to have guests. Uh, we're going to do some film discussion. We're going to do some film debates. Uh, it's going to be really fun and I'm really excited about it. And you know, it's just something that like I've been like itching to do. Like me and Megan back when we were waiting for the podcast to come back again, more on that later. When we were waiting for the podcast to come back, we were just like begging it to like start again and then you know when when what happened happened it was just weird for everybody involved especially for me and Megan it was just like they, they screwed us but um not to get into all that podcast stuff we'll definitely start posting more video about that on this channel so I want to create like so much content for you guys that you can find not only on TikTok but also on YouTube and then maybe I'll like dip my waters into the Facebook game as well just pretty much posting what's there to here or vice versa you know what I mean uh, so yeah, uh, another thing that I need to do is just post more, right? Just post more because, and that's why I'm going to post this video. I'm not going to really edit it. I'm going to just post it. It's going to be on here. And then you guys can just kind of get my full unfiltered, crazy, unedited thoughts. And uh, just to let you know that I'm here and that we're ready. And so this is kind of the first step in this long journey of this content creation game. It's going to be some bumps in the road, uh, you know, going to be some, uh, you know, some like sloppy moments, but it's only going to create a better product towards the end. Uh, and then the last thing that I want to do is just hype myself up a little bit more. Not like a cocky sense, but not be afraid to kind of sell myself, right? Like, look, right now I'm wearing merch. I have merch and I have not said a damn thing. I made a video about it. I talked about merch at the tail end of a chicken run review on TikTok, right? So like, I just want to like put myself out there a little bit more, let you guys know what I'm doing, hype up my projects, just plug myself a little bit more. Actually, F that, a lot a bit more. So make sure you guys go, click the link in the description down below. There will be my merch store. You can get the new Straw Hat Goofy Jolly Roger. 
My boy Daniel DeWinnes hooked it up. He did an amazing job. Not only do we have this, but we have shirts, we have pullovers, we have hoodies, and we have a whole entire flag in case you want to fly the flag as well. So I'm really excited for the merch. I really hope you guys like check it out. Get some. Rep yourself. We had two giveaway winners. We're going to be mailing that out very, very soon. So congratulations to those winners. And we'll be doing more giveaways and things like that. But I'm just really excited to be back this year. And I'm not the type of person to say, like, I'm going to do this thing and then just kind of, like, fall off. I'm now, like, in this, right? Like, I'm in this. If I want it, I'm going to get it, and this is how we're going to do it. So that is the video, guys. I really hope that you like it. I really hope that you're glad that I'm back. I'm glad to be back. And, uh, again, if you have any suggestions on what movies doesn't matter, new or old, put that in the comments down below, and I'll get started to making those videos right away. So that way I can just post them when there's like a slow day. So that way there'll be a constant stream of content because it's literally just me talking to the camera, which I can do all day, just like how I'm kind of prolonging this this like ending here. But anyway, uh, what are the cliche things that the YouTubers say? Uh, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment for the algorithm. I don't know how the YouTube algorithm works, so we'll see. But you guys have a great time. <laughs>